this is the end of it. I'm super nervous, but it all comes down to this moment. Is Eric happy with the clown look? Is it scary enough? Is it what he had in mind? Did it match the vision we're about to see? Bro. Eric, you might know him from literally hiring about a bajillion bodyguards to follow him around, or climbing up the side of a building dressed as Spider-Man, or maybe you know him from losing half a million dollars to Mr. Beast. Well, the other day, he let me in on a super secret video idea, and I'm not gonna give it all away just yet, but it does require me putting my special effects makeup skills to the test and turning him into the scariest clown I can imagine. Let's do it. I just got off the phone with Eric's team. So it sounds like they have a very specific vision for what they want this scary clown to look like, and there's only one problem. I have to pull that off in the next two days. So I think I found a store in my area that sounds Sounds like it could have this type of thing. So I guess we head there and hope for the best. While I'm walking around the store and I'm shopping, I'm just like, what if they don't have what I need? I'm not gonna be able to make this look good enough. I guess all I can do is pray that it works out and they have enough for me to make this look happen. And then it hit me, the gravity of the situation that I had just gotten myself into. The reason that I'm doing this scary clown look in the first place is because Eric has a video planned where he is gonna be sneaking into his friend Bean's house and scaring the crap out of him. His entire video rests on the fact that I can pull off this makeup look and make him look scary. Because if I do a horrible job, Beans is not gonna be scared. Everything's gonna be ruined. Wow, okay, slight pressure here. In that case, I probably have no other option except to sell my YouTube channel and become a wandering traveler. I got home to my studio and started practicing on myself because just between us, some of these techniques that I'm gonna be forced to pull off, I have never even attempted before. So we have some horns. I got two brush sets that I probably didn't need. A little stencil, a couple more little stencils, maybe one more little stencil. Actually, this one's a pretty big stencil. Bulb cap, because you never know. Big fat powder puff. Lots of paint like this. I'm not gonna go through all of it. Woochie, I don't know what that means, but this one's a zombie. This was the prosthetic that I got and was intending to use because this one is supposed to be a clown. See, this is what it looks like on the front. Obviously, I wouldn't paint it like this. I'd make mine way cuter and scarier. But this one, I feel like is also kind of giving me like clown vibes. Okay, so actually, I'm gonna go on my broadcast channel on Instagram. Which one is scarier? Create poll. Let's see what you guys think. Also, guys, I just moved. So all of my crap is in boxes in the garage and I'm looking for model magic because I wanna make the head like huge and I've never done this technique before but I saw some people online do it so I definitely needed to practice beforehand. This really isn't everything that I needed. We're being forced to make it work. The pole winner by a landslide was the one that I hadn't even intended to use as the clown and I only bought one of these so I cannot practice with this one. So I'm gonna do a kind of test run on myself using this clown prosthetic. Like the video right now to give me good luck. I'm gonna need it. One hour later. Okay update. I've been painting it for a while now. This is what we're working with. Just kind of adding that base down. And now I can go in and start adding some color and some detail. Two hours later. All right, I've been painting for a while now. Let's just say that. And I think I'm getting to the point where I have to put it on my face to like continue making progress. So not looking forward to this. I'm kind of struggling to paint the prosthetic and it took me eight hours to paint the prosthetic that I'm using on my face. And I forgot to mention, I only have three hours to do the entire look on Eric. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, update. I think it's coming along really well. I don't know if you can hear me or not. I think I wanna use one of the stencils on my bald head. I just don't know like which one would look cool. I think maybe this one. Three hours later. I finally finished the look on myself. It took me 10 hours to do it on myself. And I feel like it turned out like kind of okay. Okay guys, here's the final look. I don't know if it's focusing on me because it can't tell that I'm a person. All right, well, I guess that's all I need here so I can take it off. I just took the makeup look off. I'm pretty happy with that test run, but I cannot wait to shower. How on earth am I going to cut out seven hours of that in the next day? I don't know. Subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, guys, because this is when it's gonna start getting questionable. I need all the support I can get. I don't know how I'm gonna do it that fast, but I'm gonna have to figure it out because now I'm on my way to the airport. So I am flying to LAX. Once I got to LA, I decided to pop by a special effects store as a last ditch effort to see if they had the things that I needed. And now it's time. The moment we've all been waiting for. We're about to do Airax makeup. This is Sydney, by the way. 
All the way in from Florida? Yeah, as of like two weeks ago. Are you excited? This is gonna be fun. I'm actually, I feel like I'm actually scared of clowns myself, so I'm a little scared to like get turned into one. Oh, you're gonna be scared when I show you what I brought. I remember us specifically having a conversation about makeup and you told me that doing like big prosthetic stuff was like your favorite thing to do. Yes. And so when we thought of the idea, you were the first person I thought of. So oh, I'm well, pumped to be you. doing it together. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. I'm excited. Now, as you can see, I'm playing it cool, but on the inside, I'm starting to sweat because this is taking longer than expected and I'm not making a lot of progress. So I either have to pick up the pace or Eric's gonna be forced to scare beans as half a clown, which is not gonna be a good thing for me. Slight intermission here, you know. He thought he was just gonna get to sit in a chair and get his makeup done a little bit. No, I put together a little game to brighten the mood, a little game of makeup supplies. So I'm gonna pull up some photos and you tell me like if you know the name or like what it's for. Yeah, if you yeah. don't know, make us something that makes sense. I am not qualified to do this, but I'm gonna try my best. How, yeah. how confident are you in this? 10 out of 10. Okay, ten. what is this? Oh, that's classic. That's the old. That's the. Uh, that's the old stone that you put in the microwave and heat it up, and then like put it on your forehead to do like a mini hot rock spa treatment right. on your face. Yeah. Oh, sure. That looks painful. Uh, <laughs> you get two of those, and they go in your nose to avoid getting makeup in your nose. That's it. All right, I'm over two right now, but I have confidence. What do you think of this? Tweezers. Mm-hmm. Why would it be curved like that? Why, why are, what are these for too? Eyelashes. Yes, eyelash tweezers. What is it? Uh, thank you card to send to my mom for having me. That looks like a stick of deodorant, but cool shape. That does not make, and there's no way anyone owns one of these. This I, is ancient pottery. Already. It's a Moroccan clay pot, but when you wet it. You get a color out of it? You get red. You don't use that color though. You do. Who uses that color? Lip stain, blush. Ah, uh, it looks like it could hurt you pretty bad. It could. It's scissors combined with a heater. Yes. Is it actually? Yes, it you're actually? close. It what is. could you heat on your face? What could you possibly do with this? No. Eyelash curler. It's a heated eyelash curler. <laughs> that was big. That was big. That was awesome, bro. It's gotta be a punching bag. What's this? That has your name on it. Is this your product? You know what? I have one right second. here. Wait a second. This is the Sydney Morgan makeup erasing towel. <laughs> and I brought one for That's you. That's awesome. The, the Halloween edition. Yo. Orange. We, we got three. Colors. Hey, can I tell you guys something? I one time got this clown makeup put on my face and I was wondering my, to myself for hours what I was going to do to remove that makeup after it was all done. You know, this is all fun now, but in a few hours, there's just gonna be me in my bathroom trying to get this off my face. And that is a sad thought. But that all changed when I found out about the Sydney Morgan makeup eraser. When I went to sydneymorganmakeuperaser.com, everything changed. I had new hope for my makeup journey, and you can too. Just go to Sydney Morgan makeup Makeup remover dot <laughs> and use code Eric for ten percent off. We just got to hour three. I'm not quite finished yet. I don't want to put my workout half done. So we were able to run a little bit over time. Maybe it ended up taking three and a half, four. I'm finally putting my makeup brush down. This is the end of it. I'm super nervous, but it all comes down to this moment. Is Eric happy with the clown look? Is it scary enough? Is it what he had in mind? Did it match the vision we're about to see? Bro, that is horrifying. In the best way possible? Yes. Let's go! Oh my, oh my god! How did you do this? It moves and everything. It's like it actually looks like yeah. it's doggy. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Are you like tripping out right now? Yes. So much scarier than I thought. Actually terrifying. I don't. I, I don't actually don't want to look at myself <laughs> in the mirror right now. All right. He thinks it's scary. I was nervous. I didn't know. I didn't know if it would be up, up to his level, but we got we got the stamp of approval. So I'd say that's a success. Peace.